What's up, Sour Slices? Welcome back to another video, and uh, it's been a while since I last uploaded. It's probably been like um, six months or something, but I'm back, and I was just kind of gone. But I'm back, and I'm here to show you how to prepare this uh, Lego car mechanic shop as a zombie safe house. Now, I'm in a weird spot. I'm actually on the floor right now because I don't actually have a setup. Uh, I'm in my new house, so I don't have my table or anything, so we're just going to have to record this on the floor, which is also why the lighting is kind of bad, but, uh, yeah, but we're basically just gonna, let's just turn this around, and if you look inside here, it is this abandoned old car mechanics workshop, uh, as you can see, it's pretty messy, and, uh, it is not safe to survive a zombie apocalypse, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start preparing the inside of it to make it safe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean out some of the garbage. So we're going to take away this little rolly thing. This uh, little can of spray paint. This empty garbage. We're going to take out the car. Because we don't need it. Take out this little device. The gasoline we're actually going to keep. We're going to take away this pile of papers. Take away the tires. We're going to keep the ladder because we can actually use it later. And we're also going to take these fuel tanks. This uh, yellow thing. We're going to take out the shelf, but we're going to keep the shelf because it's useful. And we're also going to take out the garbage. And then I'm going to take out these little floor things. Alright, so now, now that the office is cleaned out, we can actually start preparing it for our minifigures. Now what I'm going to do with this place is I'm sort of making it like a little military safe house. So there's going to be more uh, supplies in it than there would be a regular survivor safe house. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little fence here. And uh, I'm going to put it next to the door. To give it a little bit of a wall right there. And I'm also going to, behind the door, I'm going to put in another door frame. Just like that. And I'm going to put in this iron bars with a lock to keep it safe. So now, if someone breaks through the front door, they can't get through the second door because it's locked. Now after that, we're going to move over to the right here. And I'm going to take this wheelbarrow. I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to put some guns inside the wheelbarrow. So we got this uh, AK, this M4, and this MP5. And I'm just going to put them in the wheelbarrow as some little extra guns for our soldiers. And also here, I'm going to take this crate which I have from Brick Republic, and it's full of little rockets. So with those rockets, they're going to go right here. And beside that, I'm going to take this box. It's empty right now, but I'm going to fill it with grenades. These are Brick Arms grenades. Uh, they're small, and a minifigure can hold them, as you can see. Just like that. Fill up the box with those. And on top of that box, I actually dropped one. I'm going to put another box on top of it. And inside that box, I'm going to put a baseball bat, a crowbar, a machete, a shovel, and then one more knife. So now we have a little bit of a uh, workstation right here for the soldiers. But I'm actually going to put one more thing. I'm going to put this fuel tank back there. So now we have a little uh, supply room for the soldiers. And beside the supply room, we're going to turn it this way. And this will be our sort of kitchen uh, just supplies. So in this crate, it's empty. I'm going to put this helmet with night vision goggles. These goggles. And this gas mask. I'm just going to put them in the box there like that. And I'm going to put another box on top of it. And inside of this box, we're going to put one banana, some chicken, and then two apples. This is our sort of fresh food box, not the cans. So this is what the soldiers can eat when they're hungry. And then beside it, we're going to put down one more box. And inside this box, I'm going to put this orange juice. coffee and then two more drinks and then a coke and I just have to line them up 
Perfect. And then on top of that is going to be our uh, sort of medical supplies. So in this box, I'm going to put a first aid kit from uh, Eclipse Graphics. I'm going to put another first aid kit on top of it. I'm going to put two bandages right here, one there, and then one more right here. Then beside the bandages, I'm going to take this uh, little bottle of pills and put it right here. And then beside that, I'm going to take two needles and put them in the open spot. So now we have a little medical box for the supplies they need in case they ever get hurt. And beside that, I'm going to take this other box, <laughs> the last box, I know, and I'm going to put in bread, another bread, and then a third bread. So this is their supplies. Uh, they're just bins. And I've also put them here to make a sort of wall inside the um, safe house. Now, in this corner, I'm going to put these ovens for cooking uh, their food. And beside the ovens, I'm going to actually take that shelf again. And I'm going to put the shelf... Just right here. It, it blocks off the one door, but you can open the rest of them and it gives this little small kitchen for the survivors to use. Now, in the other spot right here in the corner, we are going to put in some sleeping bags. So we'll put our one in the corner right here. I'm going to put the pillow. Actually, hold on. So I just moved everything over by one. Uh, that way I can fit the sleeping bags in the corner here. So I'm gonna put the one pillow just like that. Take the blue sleeping bag. And now as you can see, it fits perfectly in the little spot. We're gonna put another pillow like that and sleeping bag. And right here, I'm going to take this little shelf for more space for the kitchen and another little small fake wall and just put the pillow there. And the last sleeping bag in the corner like this. So now we have our little kitchen area, our little sleeping area, and our little uh, preparation supplies uh, weapon area. So we're not finished yet though uh, because we still have some stuff to put. So I'm going to put this light in the corner here. Actually, I'm going to put this light over here beside the wheelbarrow in the supply room so that the soldiers can see what they're doing. So there's a lamp there in the corner. And beside the supply room, I'm gonna take the uh, little carriage thing, put it there for transporting supplies. Over here in the living area, I'm gonna put a little basketball. So they have, uh, when they're bored, I'm gonna take this sniper rifle and I'm going to put it on top of the crate so it can be used as a sort of table, as you can see, just like that. And I'm going to take this backpack and I'm going to put it right next to the sleeping area as well. So with that, uh, and if you remember the ladder from inside, we're going to take the ladder. I'm going to take it apart and I'm actually going to put it on the outside window here. As you can see to block it off. And we're also going to take a wooden plank and block off the window just like that. So now, as you can see from the inside, the window is safe and no zombies can get in. So with that being said, the inside of the building is actually done now, and uh, we can now move on to the outside. Actually guys, I forgot one thing on the inside here. Uh, I'm gonna take the other piece of the ladder and I'm gonna clip it onto here. That way, um, and we're gonna move the cash register. That way when they get in, they can open this up and get in. and enter the safe house, and also it's still blocked off. So now we're gonna go to the outside and check it out. So the outside here is, it's all flat, but it's still not really safe for oncoming zombies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two more of these metal bars and we're gonna block off the front door. So uh, I've got these two little clips on the iron bars and I'm gonna put them here for now. That way it blocks off this side. And we're going to put two more, so take the door, clip one side, and clip the other side, and we're going to put them like this. So I'm actually going to move them closer to the door. Okay, and now we put the other one. And now it's closer to the door, and it gives it a little sort of safe way for the survivors to get in and out and to block off zombies. If 
Finally, I'm going to take this little flag and I'm going to put it in front of the door, in front of the uh, fences here, to show that this place is occupied by survivors, just like that. So now it's time to put our survivors inside the place. I'm going to take some of these Lego soldiers that I have and I'm going to place them around. So we got our one guy right here who I'm going to place in front of the front door. He's going to be the guard. And he's just going to stand here and watch the door. Now over here, we have the leader of the group. He is going to be right here in the weapons area. Sort of uh, checking it out. This is their sniper. I'm going to put him over here in the living area. Just uh, relaxing at the moment. And finally, they have this guy, the scout. He is going to be in the kitchen making sure they have lots of supplies. Guys, that does it for this video. And once again, sorry about the long break I've taken. Uh, I haven't uploaded regularly in a while. And and I, I, I plan to change that, but for now, I'm still gonna have to be on, uploading irregularly because I don't have my setup and all my Legos are actually in the basement, which is not finished yet. So um, this video was just put out now to give you guys something to watch and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss a video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay sour.